I'm a certified Scrum master, and I'm going to tell you how you can use Scrum project management to plan your wedding and have a good time doing it. So Scrum is designed for agile software development, but it's also very well suited for wedding planning because wedding planning is a time-boxed event. Whatever you get done before the wedding is part of the wedding, and if you don't get it done before the wedding, then it's no good to you anyway. Scrum doesn't really allow for pushing out the deadline of delivery. It focuses on getting things done and delivering them. Once you've picked a date for your wedding, that's it. You're running against the clock, and you have to get things done. If you can't get it done, you toss it out. One of the first things you do when setting up a Scrum project is develop a product backlog. In this case, the product is your wedding. And the backlog is a list of all the features that you want in your wedding. It doesn't have to be detailed down to the minutia of every last little thing, but it's the big stuff. The little stuff comes in in the sprint backlog. Basically, a Scrum project is divided into a number of sprints. At the beginning of each sprint, you take things off the product backlog, break them into little pieces, like we just heard about, and put them onto the sprint backlog where you work through them. A sprint in Scrum is typically 30 days, and most sprints are the same length. In wedding planning Scrum, you can have sprints any length you like, perhaps 10 days, two weeks, a month, or 45 days. Don't try and make sense of this diagram. You can find it on GregoryHeller.com. But basically, it illustrates this. So the idea is the only thing that comes out are things that are actually finished units, things that are done. The sprint allows you to create a boundary around the wedding planning, separating it from the rest of your life so that you can do things like go on vacation, go on holidays, see friends, and do your job. Scrum focuses on shippable products, or shippable units of product, meaning that once it's out the door, it's done and people can use it. And this is very important in wedding planning, because if you don't get something done before your wedding, it's no use to you. And the other reason it's important is because once it's done, you don't have to think about it anymore, like we just heard. But what does done mean? Anyone who's worked on a software project knows that if you have two engineers, you have three definitions of done. So you and your partner really need to figure out what done actually means and write your tasks so that you can cross them off and know that they truly are done. Invitations are an interesting example because you might have it on your product backlog as get invitations. But when you break it into a sprint backlog, there are probably 24 or 30 different things that go into getting the invitations done. It's really important to prioritize your product backlog and then each sprint backlog so you can be sure that you're getting the most important things, the showstoppers, done each time. And each time you set up a sprint, you can reprioritize other things uh, that you might not need to do as much. In uh, regular Scrum, you typically have a team of five to seven, whereas in wedding Scrum, there are only two people on your team. There's no Scrum master. You're both the product owner and you're the Scrum team. If you've heard anything about Scrum, you've probably heard about the chickens and the pigs. Story goes that chicken says to pig, we should open a restaurant. The pig says, great idea. What should we call it? And the chicken says, ham and eggs. And the pig says, I'm not interested. You'd be involved, but I'd be committed. In wedding planning, you have to be aware of the chickens. They're everywhere. Parents, siblings, friends, wedding planners, <laughs> vendors. I mean, the list goes on. But you, the scrum team, are committed. You're the pigs. So the, the daily scrum meeting is another really important thing in scrum. It's a 15-minute meeting, and it happens every day. But in wedding planning, you don't need to do it every day. Two or three times a week might be enough when you're doing a sprint. You answer three questions. What have you done since the last meeting? What are you going to do before the next meeting? As in, is there anything blocking your way from getting it done? The meeting is not about the doing. It's about communicating what you've done and what you're going to do. If there are decisions that need to be made or things that need to be discussed, you have separate meetings for those things. The Scrum sets up a foundation of communication and transparency for the entire project. And communication and transparency are a great foundation for a marriage as well, so it's a great place to start. If you follow these steps, create your list, prioritize it, break it into sprints, Focus on what you can actually get done realistically and communicate about it throughout the process. You too can have an amazing wedding, the wedding of your dreams. 
and have a good time doing it. My name's Gregory Heller. You can check out my website, gregoryheller.com. Follow me on Twitter, at Gregory Heller, and at Hungry Seattle. And my slides are already up there, so you can check them out when you get home.